Mindy Abramson Distinguishing Style, here to help you make more money in the sale of your owner-occupied property. Let's talk about verbiage that's on art or perhaps on accessories. Think about it when you are walking around a property. If you see something that has lettering on it or verbiage on it, what's our first instinct? We stop and we read it. If that is in art, guess what guys? We're not selling art. And the same if it's with pillows. The eye goes to the pillow and not what we're selling. So we've distracted the buyer and we've talked about that before. Because if we are reading the artwork, if we're looking at the pillows, we're certainly not looking at what we're selling. Keep in mind too that many times uh, pictures and accessories that have verbiage on them give a tone of a certain type of aesthetic. It may be more of a shabby chic, it may be more country feel, it may, it may be a certain type of design style. And when we're selling a property, we want to appeal to the largest group of buyers and not leave that property only looking like it could be in one design opportunity. Let me give you an idea. Currently working on a property that initially just looked Tuscan and it was not getting any uh, results on the market so they took it off the market and decided to, um, to call me in. It now, when it goes back on the market, is going to appeal to a large buyer pool, not just those that like Tuscan design. It's going to appeal to those that may like contemporary. It will appeal to those that may like transitional, and it also will appeal to those that are tra uh, that like traditional as well, because it's more neutralized, but at a very high level of aesthetic, not specific to a specific design style. And you want as many buyers as possible to envision themselves living there. And if they have a different design style than the one displayed in the accessories, for example, um, you may turn away a few buyers where the house may be very perfect for many other opportunities. Let's talk soon.